Happy Passover, Happy Easter, Happy Resurrection. We are so excited to be celebrating today. Today's Friday when we're celebrating. We're doing our Passover Seder dinner. We have family in town and we've got 10 kids at our table. here and four adults that's pretty impressive and what I realized this morning is between our two families we have five girls and five boys so it's really special and we're we're ready our family has been celebrating Passover for a few years now something that was not completely unfamiliar with us but something that definitely wasn't a yearly priority Tim and I are both very hands-on learners and the festival of Passover has been a great way for it to sink in for myself, but also a great way to just draw the kids in. They get to taste things, they get to smell things, they get to feel it with their hands, listen to the stories. It's just a really good immersive learning time. Jesus died on the yeah. cross for us and, and I, So now we have an empty seat. You guys notice where there's an empty seat Jesus, on our table? Yeah. Where's the empty seat? Wait, he's holding all the eggs. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus has all the eggs. Really like yeah, when the Passover lamb is sacrificed, Jesus takes the eggs and he puts them on the table. A few years ago, I was trying to figure out how do I best lead our family spiritually and train our kids and teach them and and I was looking for all the curriculums and some dad was just like just read the Bible and use that I'm like just the Bible that's it and so and then I found like I was reading through Exodus and it was like literally when your child says asks you this you say this and then when they ask you this you sound like oh it's like this curriculum that has all five senses involved sight sight sound taste smell touch all of them. and it's all like in one package <laughs> Toby's so ticklish. <laughs> this year I was extra excited to get to celebrate. I'm feeling better, more with it, and just ready to just enjoy the festivals this year. And having family come and visit, having more kids in the house to get to teach and hang out with and experience a hands-on lesson with them, just makes it so much more special. And what cousin doesn't want their cousin at dinner with them and celebrating a special holiday. You just went from Livia to Zeke. Hi, did you get clean feet? I know sometimes we think of these as like Jewish holidays or festivals, but um, when I was reading the Bible, it was like God was saying, these are my appointed times mm -hmm. and, and he gave them to his people. And so I think there's just as much for us as Christians. Because we are his people. We have been adopted into his family. And so his festivals are for us. <laughs> Now, if, if you don't like the way it tastes, it's okay. But I want everyone to just try it, okay? I love it. And then eat it. I think it's really good for us as parents to figure out, like, how do we train our kids? How do we teach them? And whether or not you do Passover or not, it's not like a you know, big deal to us, but we just think that like it's important to fi find family rhythms that work. And we think that the Bible gives us seven festivals that all work really well for that and so that works well for our family but regardless still, I think it's important to figure yeah. that out. There's such good manners at this table. Everybody's eating with their hands. <laughs> now walk around, look in the living room, look in the dining room. Here you go, how do you go? I don't know where it is. You gotta look around for it. You found the Bible. And a fortune teller. And we're still learning them. We don't celebrate all seven festivals yet. We've started off slow. That was some big advice that we got was don't try to do everything all at once because if you try to do everything, then you're gonna crash and burn and it's just gonna be too much to try to pull off and you're gonna put too much pressure on you. So you choose one festival to learn about 
and to practice or try and I mean we've been doing this for a few years and it hasn't looked the same each year and um, and that's okay or we learn a little bit more every time yeah. uh oh everybody out <laughs> We've been doing Passover and a few other festivals for a few years now, so if you want to kind of see what some of those previous year's vlogs look like, you can click that little playlist you see on your screen right now, and we'll see you guys over in those next videos. Tiny loop, I tangled. Good job. Yeah.